This is called RBD. Have you heard of RBD? So till now you were thinking that you are doing real body dynamics. Real body dynamics has started now itself. Just now. Before this, we were doing introduction of system of particles and kinematics of it. rigid body kinematics. Now we are doing rigid body dynamics. If you if you have noticed the first two chapters of the class 11 textbook one book one. Okay, the units and measurement are after that. First two chapters. Kinematics. Kinematics, right? Motion 1D, motion 2D is what? Kinematics. Right? The concepts of motion 1D, motion 2D are combined and put inside the rotational kinematics. Getting it? Okay? And then other two chapters are laws of motion and work energy. Laws of motion and work energy are called the dynamics of the particle. Alright, and we are going to learn how we can use the laws of motion and how we are going to use the work energy concept for a rigid body. <coughs> right? So, as big as laws of motion and as big as work by energy, together they combine, put in this rotation <coughs> dynamics. Right? This is what we are going to start. Right? And when you have studied the rotation, uh, the kinematics of a particle, or let's say laws of motion, you have force equal to mass and acceleration, right? What, what is mass? What is mass? Mass represented inertia. Mass represented inertia. How much amount of force you give to create what amount of acceleration? Okay, larger mass or larger inertia will have lesser acceleration. So that is why force is equal to mass and acceleration. Now, if entire rigid body is just doing translation, for example, this rigid body is just moving like this, is it any different from a particle? No difference, right? All the points have same velocity, same acceleration, so it is no different than a single particle. So you can use force equal to mass and acceleration, and you don't need any other law to analyze this. Are you getting it? Right? But if it starts rotating while moving, okay, if it starts rotating, then you need to take into account the angular acceleration also. Yes or no? Right? So we need to understand what causes a rotation, not just what causes a translation. By the way, what causes the translation? Force. Force causes translation. So we need to get into the details of rotation now. What causes the rotation? What do you think what causes the rotation? Have you heard of a term called torque? Rotating effect of the force. Right? So we are going to learn about deep torque which is the cause of the angular acceleration. But before you even get into the definition of what is torque, what is the rotational effect of force, we need to also understand what is the inertia against the rotation. Inertia against the translation was mass. Bigger the mass, lesser is the acceleration for the same force. Inertia against rotation is moment of inertia. Okay? Just to give you a small example, let's say you have a big rod. Take a big rod and try to rotate from one of its ends. It is very heavy. So rotating from one of ends, you are trying to do that and then rotating from the center. Which one is easier? Center. center is easier. So it is easy to rotate from the center than from one of its ends. So it means what? It means that inertia against the rotation is changing depending on from where I am rotating the object. Yes or no? Right? So inertia against the rotation has to do with where is the axis of rotation itself. Right? So different axes will have different inertia against the rotation. So we, that is the reason why 
we need to study the inertia against the rotation separately because it can be very tricky. Whereas we never study mass separately in laws of motion because mass is very easy, right? Easy to quantify, right? But we need to quantify inertia against the rotation properly because at every point different different inertia against rotation is there. Alright, so the first topic is inertia against the rotation and the name of that inertia is called moment of inertia. Please write down moment of inertia. Zero. It passes through the axis. Perpendicular distance of 4 kg? 
Access 